Oh, no! <laughs> Our fabric trial licenses are starting to expire. What the heck do you do? You've had it... If, you, if you've been using fabric since day one, you may have had this for over a year now. You got tons of assets. How do you how do you handle this? What's going to happen when your fabric trial ends? Well, in this video, we're going to run through what's going to happen. I'll make sure you understand all the stuff that's going on and walk you through how you like, uh, like make sure you don't lose any of the great content that you've done. All right. This is happening to me. So like, you're literally watching me as I found out that this is an issue. So we're gonna get into it. All right, um, so I came into to Power BI. I noticed, hey, how wonderful. Uh, oopsies, how wonderful. What just happened to my computer? Um, my trial had been extended by 25 days. So that's fantastic, yay. Uh, but I saw this notice that popped up right here saying your fabric trial is expiring. So uh, like, okay, well, what does this mean, right? Cause you know, I can click on learn more. It's gonna open up a new window and I'm gonna get all sorts of like information about my fabric capacity. Losing, oh, I just can't get out of the way. All right, so uh, I'll shrink myself, shrink myself. There we go. <laughs> um, uh, platform updates, uh, no, that's not it. Fabric trial capacity, uh, your, your non-Power BI items will be permanently permanently deleted seven days after expiration. So this is a time sensitive thing that you gotta take care of. If you click on learn more, it pops up this window about like, okay, what happens next? Uh, it's gonna blow that stuff away. You get, you know, uh, you're gonna basically lose all of this stuff unless you move the stuff off of your fabric capacity. All right, now it does include like a little link here to go buy a, a fabric capacity and you might need to do that. If you're in a larger organization, like get started on that because you don't know how long that might take. This could be something that you, like honestly, a, a small F2 capacity, you could spin up, down, start it, stop it. It's not as heavy of a lift as people think and it's not as expensive uh, as one might think. So like we, we know some people that are spending less than $20 a month on fabric and they're running their, their small business off of it, all right? So, um, and it's got some other guides on like, how do you, how do you get this stuff ready? How do you get access to the capacity? Uh, I'm gonna show it to you because it, when that occurs, this brought you over to the capacity admin portal, okay? So in here, I can check to see that I have a capacity and it's up and running, right? So I do have my Eagle capacity, that's up and running. It's an F2, it's in North Central America and it's active. Now. I do have other capacities that are all paused, right? Uh, so I could turn those back on if I want to move them on there. For the purpose of this though, I'm gonna be going, you know, and staying inside that trial or moving just this ego capacity, all right? So I'm gonna go back to the trial capacity. I'm gonna click on the capacity name. Inside of here, it's gonna give you all sorts of information about usage, you can click on, you can see notifications, you could, or you could set notifications like you can on other fabric capacities. You can see what Power BI workloads you have if you're use, using the different, uh, different pieces, right? Uh, data engineering, data science, but the big one that we care about are workspaces assigned to this capacity, right? So I can see I've got, oh no, I've got 30 works, or I've got, 20 some odd, 25 workspaces that I'm gonna have to migrate over so that I don't lose these workspaces, all right? So uh, I'm basically just gonna go in and, and, and run through and show you how you upgrade one of these, okay? So I'm gonna hop over, the first one was copy assist. So I'm gonna go into my copy assist workspace. I'm gonna go on to workspace settings, all right? Now let me, oop. <laughs> there we go, <laughs> bouncing all around here. Okay, inside workspace settings, the second item, licensing info, it's gonna show you all about your license and here you're gonna see like, yep, we are in a trial. This is what where the SKU is, where it's located and what it's set up as. We got this big button here for edit. So just click on edit and it's gonna give me the options as to what mode I want it to be in. So because I'm going from a fabric capacity, I want all of the content I have, uh, to continue to exist, I'm just gonna click on fabric capacity and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna choose that Eagle North Central US capacity, all right? And then I'm gonna say select. It's gonna save this and then all of the content 
Now it looks like it's automatically moved. There's a little bit of like time that actually between the moves and, and whatnot. But now this is all done and this is gonna be moving to that licensing capacity. So just be aware that that's there. Now, uh, there is a, a large number of these that I've got to go through and do. It is possible to script that out. I am 98% sure with the admin uh, uh, APIs, but I'm not going to be doing that in this video. All right. If you found this stuff useful and you, you, you liked it, make sure you smash the like button, do all the like YouTube stuff, leave a comment, ask questions, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, Cause like, I'm here doing this for you and hopefully, you know, it'd be great if you gave back a little bit. If you found all the content really, really helpful and you're like, hey, Chris, how can I support you in the channel? You can head over to krosbi.com and click on buy, uh, buy me a coffee. You can buy as many coffees as you want, or you can head down to the merch links below. Uh, you can get yourself a best day ever t-shirt and uh, or no Daxcoms t-shirt and be ready to rock. You have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.